All right. So the 3D printed, 3D printed bottle slash flask. Okay, right out of the bat, I gotta say, I know, not the greatest application for a 3D printer. Um, it doesn't make a perfect bottle. And in fact, it will be very difficult to keep clean because of the inherent non-smooth finish of a 3D printed product. But I wanted a bottle that fit a very specific location and I thought, why not make one? And so that's what I did. And I think it came out really well. In the end, I learned a lot. I'm gonna share that with you. But I think the only real value for a product like this or to 3D print a bottle is, A, you're on the moon and you just don't have access to another bottle, then sure, print it. Or B, you want a vessel that fits a very specific shape or space. And then I think it really would, it's kind of cool. Like, I can't think of a great example, but if you wanted a an oil container to sit inside a tire, for example, you could make something that was custom-shaped for that situation. What happened, though, when I printed this, I spent a fair amount of time sorting through the whole cap and thread issue because I was assuming, and very incorrectly, that I was going to have trouble sealing uh, the bottle. As it turns out, the bottle seals really well. The top is no problem at all. Uh, I used what the industry refers to as a 38400 finish. And um, I guess the 28400 is what everybody knows on soda bottles, certainly most common, I think, uh, format. But I wanted a bigger opening because I wanted it to be easier to clean and get inside of. And I just think a bigger opening is nicer to use. And also I wanted a half liter bottle and because of that I wasn't really constrained with space in terms of like keeping this really narrow. If you wanted to make a really narrow flask, of course you'd need a smaller finish on it. I'd say finish because I learned that that's what they call the thread and the cap combination is the finish on a bottle. Here's what happened though. I printed this with the typical 0.4 millimeter nozzle, uh, 0.2 millimeter layer height. I printed it in uh, PETG I printed it initially with a 1.6 millimeter wall, so four line widths uh, wall, and a 1.6 millimeter floor or bottom. After I printed it, put water in it and squeezed it as hard as I could, water came out of the base. And I was shocked to see that. And it didn't come out all over the base. It came out around the perimeter of the base, about two or three millimeters in from the edge of the print where it contacts the, the print bed. Um, and because of that, and also because I had put some graphics on the bottom that are recessed by a 0.2 millimeters and it didn't prefer to leak there. In fact, I don't even think it leaked there. It leaked around the perimeter. And so that told me that the way the walls formed on the inside and the way I have it uh, filleted on the inside it just created a little bit of a weakness in the structure or the, the I don't know if you can call it the density of the print. Anyway, so I did what anybody would do is I just made it thicker. Um, so I increased the base to 2.4 millimeters and I thickened up the chamfer, the thickness of the areas that are chamfered at the base. And sure enough, that stopped the bottom from leaking uh, or from water, stopped water from permeating through the bottom. But as I pressurized it then, I found that water was actually coming through the walls. And that was a bit surprising, but it just, it did. And I printed enough of these and tested it enough to say for sure it water was permeating through the walls. So I was starting to lose interest in the project. Uh, and I thought I'll give it one more try. I put I increased the wall thickness to two millimeters and printed it one more time and sure enough I that that's it <clears throat> I can't say that it's um, perfectly um, sealed but it's super close to sealed like when I put water and it squeezes as hard as I can no water's coming through the walls at all so I'm gonna use this one for a little while and try it and I would say that based on this, if you really needed to make an important container that you wanted to be perfectly sealed, I'd go even thicker on the walls. But of course, the thicker you make it, the more expensive it is. It's just easier to just grab a, a commercially made bottle. So 
get back to the beginning of this conversation that's really just kind of a novel project to see if you can make a bottle. Certainly to make some odd shaped bottles or for thicker materials would probably like an oil, for example, like say would probably sit in it better. And also if you wanted to put non-liquids into it, I don't know, like sand, for example, I don't can't think of why you'd put sand in a bottle, but if you did, then obviously it would work quite well for that. I did make a, designed a gasket to go under the cap just in the inside there and i anticipated making a tpu a, a gasket out of tpu in the end i've designed it but i never printed it because i didn't have any trouble with the top sealing i did on a couple occasions after the top got ironed in the printer i had a little nub on the edge and i just used a really fine i think a 600 grit sandpaper on a flat surface sand at the top so it was perfectly smooth and um Sure enough, you screw the cap on and you've got a really good seal there. So I, I also wonder or guess that if I spent more time on my print settings, you might be able to improve the the, the density of the print, maybe with over extruding or overlapping so that you got a more solid wall. So that would probably be, be the direction I'd go if I had to do it. And I also thought it would be kind of fun to take this in a bit of a different direction, which would be to make a canister or a cylinder for storing compressed air. If we could make a smaller canister for compressed air, then we could 3D print, in theory, 3D print a small um, pneumatic system doing something, some kind of machine. But of course, there'd be lots of challenges in that and sealing everything and making it all work but it might be a fun future project so um that's all i have to say about it i put a little bit more info on my blog so check that out if you are interested anyways a little bit of novelty lots was learned i don't recommend planning to make bottles with your 3d printer and i have lots of uh lots more fun and interesting things coming on down the pipe so please subscribe and stay tuned for more